Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I set up my website on my .crypto domain. The video today is quite long so I've broken it down with the different timestamps down below in the YouTube description so if you already have certain things installed that I'm covering you can jump to the next section to get your website up and running even faster. And for the sake of today's tutorial I will be using this free HTML template. In the future, I will show you how to customize this, but for the sake of this tutorial without making it into an, a four hour long video, I'm simply going to show you how to upload these files onto your .crypto domain. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So in order to build a website on a .crypto domain, you need a couple of things. You need MetaMask installed as a browser extension. You need a domain from Unstoppable Domains and you'll need a Pinata account. Now those three things are required to actually put a website on a .crypto domain, but if you actually want to view the website in the browser, you're going to want to download Brave. Brave is a browser that allows you to view these .crypto domains, but it also allows you to earn cryptocurrency just from using it. I did a video about this about a week or two ago, so if you missed that, I highly recommend checking it out so that you can start earning cryptocurrency today. But it will also come in handy to be able to view your .crypto website in the browser. So if you want to actually view your website, you will either need to install Brave for the desktop, or you'll want to have an Android device that's running Brave. iOS devices do not work, but hopefully they will in the near future. So the template I'm gonna be using for today's tutorial is this one. It's called Ethereal from this website. Now this website allows you to download free HTML templates that in my opinion are very, very attractive and good looking, but they also allow you to install them for personal and commercial use. So that's why I went with these guys. My current website is built using one of their free templates. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm choosing this one to show you on how to upload your own content to your domain name. You will find all of the download links in the YouTube description below, along with all of the links that I point out in this video. So keep that in mind. If you have questions, there are links to everything listed down below in the YouTube description. So assuming you're following along on the desktop computer, we're going to go ahead and install MetaMask. So MetaMask is the way for you to sign transactions after you purchase your .crypto domain name. It allows you to do some other really cool stuff like create crypto wallets and it provides a gateway to the different blockchain apps. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're only going to be using it with our dot crypto domain. We're not going to be covering wallet addresses or anything like that. We're just going to be covering the basics needed to get your dot crypto website up and running. So you're going to want to come up here and click download. You can either install it in the Brave browser like I'm using here, or you can put it in your iOS or Android devices. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Brave in the desktop like I've got right up here. You just select Brave here, and then you'll click install MetaMask for Brave. And that will redirect you to the Chrome Web Store where you will install it as a browser extension. Now if you're wondering what MetaMask is and how it works, that's not really important for this tutorial, but I will put links down below in the YouTube description to show you what it is and how it works. But for the sake of this tutorial, all you need to know is that you need to install MetaMask as a browser extension, and then you need to create an account with MetaMask. And when you create an account, it will give you what are called seed phrases. You're going to write these seed phrases down on, multi they say multiple pieces of paper. You could do one piece of paper, but essentially you wanna keep these seed phrases in a very secure place offline so that if your accounts ever get hacked, people don't have access to these seed phrases because these seed phrases are essentially your key to your wallet. So just keep them in a very secure place offline. That's the safest way to do it. Um, and never reveal your seed phrase to anyone. Not even people saying, hey, send me your seed phrases and I'll give you a thousand dollars in Bitcoin. 
Do not ever send your phrases to anyone because once they have access to those, you're gonna lose all your money. So do not share them with anybody. I cannot stress that enough. But once you have MetaMask installed and the browser extension is running, your account will look something like this. And if you, it looks like this, then you are good to go to the next step. If it doesn't look like that and you've missed a step, please make sure to look at the links in the YouTube description below for how to actually create a MetaMask account and get your account up and running. Now that we have MetaMask installed, we're gonna go to Unstoppable Domains. And I've put a link down below in the YouTube description that is my affiliate link. So if you do click on that and you do end up buying a .crypto domain today, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give me a little bit of a referral credit. And it would really help me out if you did that. So once you click that link, you're gonna to come to a page that looks like this. This is Unstoppable Domains. And right here in the search bar, you'll see it says, find a blockchain domain. Now, a blockchain domain is different than your traditional .com or .net domain because it actually lives on the blockchain. It doesn't live inside of a site like GoDaddy or Namecheap. And one of the best things about a .crypto domain is that there are no renewal fees, no extra add-ons or anything like that. You don't get bombarded with all the excess junk that websites like GoDaddy or Namecheap do. So, for today's example, we are going to search for this domain, My Perfect Website 2022. Let's say I wanted to come up with a website in, in a year and put it on this, and this is what I wanted my domain to be. I would search for the domain here, and you can see that it is available in a .crypto and .zill domain extension. For today's purposes, and in order to view your website in the Brave browser, you need to have a .crypto domain. And like I said, this $40 fee, it's a one-time fee. It's not a renewable type thing where you're renting the domain. You are actually buying this and you will own the domain that you buy. That's a really cool thing because if you think about it with a normal traditional .com or .net, you are renting that domain from the company that you're renting it from, like GoDaddy. And then once you stop paying, you lose complete access to that domain. Whereas with this type of domain, once you buy it, you own it, you have it forever. So keep that in mind. So let's go ahead, once you find your perfect domain, we're gonna go ahead and click Add to Cart. So now that we've added this to our cart, we're gonna go click on Go to Cart. And once we make sure that this is in fact the domain that we wanna buy, we're gonna click Checkout. Now I'm presented that I need to either log in or sign up. And I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you don't already have an Unstoppable Domains account. So you'll come down here and click sign up and you'll fill out your email, whatever that might be as an example. And then you'll type in a password. And then once you click save, you will then get an email verifying that you did try to create an account today. Once you click verify in the email that Unstoppable Domains gives you, then you'll be redirected back to their site and you'll be able to continue checking out. But I already have an account, so I'm gonna go ahead and click log in and I'm gonna see you guys on the next screen. So just to double check, once you've logged into your account after successfully creating an account, let's go back up here to our cart and make sure that this is exactly what we wanna buy and then we're gonna click check out. And then we are presented with different options to pay. I think the easiest way is credit card, but you're welcome to do any of these different methods. So after you filled out your credit card number, expiration date, the code on the back, and your postal code, you'll click Submit Payment. And once that's done, you're gonna to head to your My Domains section. To get there, you click on this menu item here, and then you click on My Domains. Now keep in mind that because this domain is on the Ethereum blockchain, you may have to wait a little bit before it shows up in your account, but don't worry, it will show up. And once it does, all you have to do is come over here and click manage. Now it defaults to this crypto tab, but we're gonna go ahead and go to this website tab. Now once you're on this website tabs page, you'll be presented with a couple different options. You can either choose a pre-made template that the Unstoppable Domains people have created, and they do provide a really simple interface for updating the content. However, for me personally, I choose to upload the content that I want instead of using that type of interface. So for today's example, I'm gonna be using a website called Pinata. 
and it's pinata.cloud. And this is where all of your HTML and CSS files will be hosted. If you do come back to Unstoppable Domains, you'll notice under the link custom website with IPFS, this is associated with Pinata. So if this doesn't make any sense to you, it didn't to me yesterday, but today it does, and I'm telling you exactly what I know. So in order to get this IPFS hash, you need to go over to Pinata and sign up for a free account. If you head over to the pricing tab up here, you can see that there is a $0 per month account that you can create for free as long as you keep it under one gigabyte. If you choose to have tons and tons of images or, or hosted videos, then you'll probably want to go with one of these other accounts. But for the sake of this tutorial, you'll want to click on sign up now under the $0 a month one, and then you're going to create your free account. Type in your email and your password, and when you click sign up, they will send you an email with a verification code to verify that you are trying to sign up with a Pinata account. And once you have a Pinata account, then you'll sign into it, and I'll show you what to do next. So now that we're in my Pinata account, assuming you've verified your account and you have that now, we're going to upload some HTML files. Now the best way that I've found to do that is to find a pre-made HTML template and upload those files directly. If you do know HTML and CSS, you'll be able to modify it, add your own images, your own content, whatnot. But for the sake of this tutorial, I just want to show you the process of uploading files because to me that was the trickiest part in figuring out what this IPFS hash was, is you upload a folder filled with images or HTML files, CSS files, JavaScript files, and that is where you get this IPFS hash. So I've put down below link to download this template. If you have another HTML template that you found that you prefer, that is totally fine. You can use the same steps and you'll have an, a website up and running in no time. So I'll put a link to this website here where you can go and you can click this download button and it'll pop up with a window asking you where you want to download the template. Once you click save of where you want to download it, it'll start downloading it. And then you're going to unzip that folder. Now for me, it's right here. It says HTML5 up Ethereum. And then you'll be presented with some different folders. You'll have images inside of here. And if you expand those, they give you some placeholder images so that you don't have to use their own images. But all of these files, you don't need to touch them. You can modify the index.html file in a text editor. But if you don't know any of this and this doesn't make any sense at all, it doesn't need to. You can upload the template directly to Pinata and go from there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over here once you're in the Pinata account and you're gonna click Upload. And then you're gonna choose Folder. And then you're gonna click Upload and you'll be presented with a folder like this. So you're just gonna click that folder that you unzipped from the ethereal.zip and then you're gonna click Upload. And then you're just gonna say yes, Upload from the folder and click Upload. And once that's done processing, you will be presented with this hash that you're going to click this copy button here, and then you're going to head back over to Unstoppable Domains, and you're going to paste it right here, just like that. So once you click Save Changes, you'll be presented with these options, and you're going to want to select Web3 Wallet because that is what MetaMask is or needs to connect. You're going to click that button and MetaMask is going to pop up asking you to sign this transaction. So you'll click sign and then it'll say you'll need to send a code to the email that you signed up with. Here is what it looks like. This is the verification code that I need to copy and then head back over to Unstoppable Domains and paste it into that field and it will verify me. And then it'll pop up one last time in MetaMask saying to complete the transaction. And once you click sign, it will start running, okay? You'll see pending changes. You can't make any changes while your records are updating. And what this is doing is if we click on view transactions, it is actually sending your information, these records, to the Ethereum blockchain. It's creating a block on the chain with your exact changes. And you can actually click on this 
link right here to view all of the different, like the status and the, the hash that was like the transaction hash and everything about that transaction. It's essentially just saving files to the blockchain. Okay, so heading back here, you'll see that this is now completed. I'm not seeing the changes, so I think I need to wait a little bit longer just to make sure that the transaction was completed. Even though it says it was completed, it still can take time to actually update everything. So I will be right back once this is all done. So it's been about an hour since I made my update and everything has been completed. So now let's go back to my website, which looks like this. And we're going to refresh the page to see if my new design is in place. And there we go. That is how you upload website content to a .crypto domain. So if you followed along until now, you will have on your own .crypto domain this website template. Now you'll see that it has all of the default stuff and all of these images are missing. That is how the website or template works. I will mention that the form itself will not work because we don't have anything hooked up to some type of server to actually send emails and messages. So we'll have to get rid of this. But ultimately, every single thing on here is something that you can add to your own website if you did choose to go with this template. And I will be making a video on how to update this content just to give you a quick idea of where to go to actually do that. And so you'll get a better understanding of how to make the changes to your own website. But if you don't like this theme or this template and you want to make your own website and you know how to code, you can write your own HTML, your own CSS, and you can upload the files and images directly to Pinata, like we showed before by uploading a folder here. And that is really all there is to it. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Keep an eye out for the future video on how to customize the HTML template. And if it's been helpful, I, I truly do hope that it was. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. And I will see everyone in the next video.